guys welcome back to my channel not too long ago I had done a happy mail video one of my viewers and subscribers Stephanie had sent me three super awesome books that I love and one of them is this Belle Jardin Jardin <laughs> um, colored the garden of your dreams and it's from Peggy Jo Ackley uh, I had not heard of this one until Stephanie had suggested it to me, and then she sent it to me, so that was extra sweet of her. I have a thing for coloring food. I don't know why. It's just my thing. <laughs> so I had taken a look at this. I didn't even realize it was as big of a book as I, it ended up being, so it has tons. And I hadn't seen many flip throughs of this I couldn't find any maybe they're just kind of old and archived I don't know so I decided I would do a flip through of this whole book for those of you who hadn't heard of it just like I hadn't so let's dive in it has a very thick cover and an awesome feature is perforated edges I love when people do that because I can gently tear out the page, color it outside of the book so I'm not having to mess around with the cover and the spine, and then I just slide it back into the book where I tore it out. So I always love when books do that. And this is not Create Space paper. It is thick cardstock and it's smooth. It has a little tooth but not a lot. So most of my pencils, pretty much all of my pencils, will work on it. All right, so check out the belongs to page with this gardening boots and your little gardening uh i suck at gardening you know what i mean but uh this would be fun to color even with like fine liners if you wanted to do all that detail and we have a little introduction kind of just talking about how coloring calms us which i totally agree and then, of course, the name, you know, is for the beautiful garden. And then recipes. There's recipes in this book, which is, I didn't even know until I got it. So, uh, she talks about who has contributed to the recipes. And then the next page is coloring tips. So, she kind of talks about, you know, all everything from stroke to shading, blending, creating a color map, and then all that good stuff and it looks like it continues yeah so she has a front and back coloring tips which is good and then you can still color these pages by the way all right so this page I actually love because it's like you know the little seed packets you buy for your garden I suck at gardening but I know what seed packets are <laughs> so <laughs> um, I think it's super cute because you could do it all vintage style I mean like 10 cents for sweet corn so that one will be fun already make sure I'm not Let's see if I can get the whole thing in camera there we go okay so this looks like it is a double page spread and you know they've got their little sayings here and then this is cute like you got your little bunnies ones like in the pot trying to get everything out. This one is just playing with the lettuce. Over here we got more. One that's actually eating some carrots. This is a super cute page. This would be fun to work on. And then here we have all the apples. And so like Golden Delicious, Gravenstein, Macintosh, Pippin. So I thought this was a pretty cool page. And then look at this. Here is a recipe. So this is applesauce raisin bread, and it's a legit recipe. Like you have your ingredients, you have your like directions. So I could sit there and color this page and then go and make it, which I'm totally going to do because I love raisin bread. So yes, it will happen. All right, this one is all the homegrown heirloom tomatoes which I thought was really cool because it actually has like the name I didn't even know there was that many heirloom tomatoes and guys I went to culinary school so I'm kind of questioning my education 
I'm sure they taught me this stuff. It's just the fact I probably didn't remember it. <laughs> so it has all of them. I mean, if, quite a few I recognize, but still, I thought that was pretty cool because it's almost like a gardening lesson too, which I definitely need. And then, you know, this one says fresh from the garden and kind of goes over all of the other ones. I mean, look at all that. And what's cool is I'm going to look these up online and color them like they should, like how they should look, you know, in real life. So that'll help me with my coloring skills. And then this one has a beautiful poem and I love like this little pear tree and I think that would be a peach tree maybe. And then we have plant a tree. That's a cute page as well. And again, they're all perforated, so you can tear them out, which is awesome. Okay, we have another recipe, blueberry muffins. Oh my gosh, I'm so going to do that. But look, you can color like your little basket of fresh blueberries and the muffins. And look, it has a little, you know, cow butter tin. Oh, that's so freaking cute. And then over here, it's like the page of berries. Strawberries, cherries, blueberries. I'm thinking raspberries. Could be blackberries though. Hmm. But I'm saying I'm gonna go with raspberries. That would be fun. And then we got lemon bars, which holy cow, I am so gonna make. I love lemon bars. We made those in pastry school. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Can't get enough. But this would be a fun one too. You got your little thing of lemonade. And then over here it says luscious lemons, and it's got a lemon tree. It's be so fun to color and it has all this detailed background and that would be fun to like do as well this one when I was flipping through and checking it out all the different like olive oils I thought that was really cool but look they have the different olives up here this I remember from culinary school okay so I did retain some of that but I thought this was a really cool one and they're like the vintage style olive oil cans. So this would be so fun to color like and make them all antiqued. Yeah, I can't wait to do this page. And I'm gonna look up like these and color them like they should be. And then we have herb gardens. So you have like all your herbs. I swear this book is awesome because one, it teaches you things that you may not know, like all the herbs, heirloom tomatoes, um, all that stuff. But then you can actually practice coloring realism from this book. So like I can look up coriander, see what it actually looks like. Not, I mean, we think of coriander from the jar and we just dump it into our recipe. But this is like the herb when you're growing it, you know? So it'll be fun to practice realism. So that's pretty cool about this. I mean, you're learning gardening, which I need so much help in. And, um just what things look like, all their varieties, and then you can practice the realism part while having fun. This page I thought was super fun. It just has like basically all your vegetables from the garden. It's just fun and cheerful. You have kind of like a, almost like a mandala fruit pattern. This is a huge book by the way guys. And then we got like our little veggie and fruit basket. And this is cool, farmer's market. And then look, it goes all through the alphabet. It's like A, asparagus, and Z, zucchini. Like it literally has one for all of them. That'd be fun. And this little spread. This one I thought would be really cool in the fall because it has like, you know, all your squashes and stuff. And then butternut squash soup. Yes, I love butternut squash soup. Like I can't wait to try some of these recipes. Okay, and this one, so canning, I started to get into canning and then kind of gave up, but <laughs> um, this makes me kind of want to get back into canning, and if our house goes through, I'll, we're going to have one heck of a garden on that acre of land, so I'm going to be a canner, but this would be fun to do in the vintage like style as well, because it's kind of like that farm, fresh, garden thing, you know, you got your blue ribbon, and then... This, the asparagus seem to have gotten the first prize. But these would be really fun to do and practice glasswork because that is one thing I really need to work on. And then this is just kind of her canning prep. 
and I recognize all of it because I tried to be a canner once upon a lifetime. Like the little tongs that help you lift your drawers out of the boiling water. So yeah, all of that I thought was awesome. And then they have a lot like of pages that'll just have little sayings and then they give um, credit to who it's from. Same thing here. This one's from Thomas Jefferson. These boots are on the belongs to page, so you probably rec recognize those. And here we have flowers and fruit. And then this one is also, you know, it has a little saying here. But some of these I like too because they're patterned, kind of like Rita Berman does on some of hers. So it's just a little more intricate work. Okay, this one, I was super excited. Pico de Gallo. Love salsa. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some pot, potted plants with, um, those look like lemons, tomatoes, jalapenos, maybe? I would say so, with the shape. Um, some sort of herb. But, I mean, this, pretty much, I'm assuming everything on this page is what you need to make this recipe. Though I don't see any garlic growing. Maybe not, but <laughs> either way, it's still fun. All right, and then farm to table. I love how like, do you see the farmland built into the lettering? That's pretty cool. Then another kind of little mandala page. And then this says all ripe together in summer weather. So these are kind of like your your summer fruits and vegetable type of thing. Well, this is just fruits, but it goes over all of them. So this would be a fun double page spread to work on. And the bowls are super intricate. You don't have to like color them in though. You could do them like this could be all cream, but you just do different shades of cream so that they stand out, you know, and it looks like little chinaware. Or you could do the blue and white classic chinaware. And this one, it's got a little saying about cherries, and that's because we have a cherry recipe with a super old school little radio. That would be fun. And look, this is like vintage vanilla extract. And this, this is actually, they say cabbage, but that would be so fun to color and practice like your realism on if you wanted. And we've got a little garden scene. All right, succulents. So a whole thing of succulents. This would be a really good one because I honestly don't color a lot of succulents and probably should learn that. And it has a little saying here from Mark Twain. So that would be a good one to practice on. And this is kind of like a little mandala garden fence or gate and this is cool so this is you know uh, grapes used for wine it's not just one type of grape they're actually different types of grapes I know it's hard to believe but it's true so they actually are telling you the different grape varieties these are like this is your Chardonnay grape this is your Merlot, Merlot grape they actually have uh, real names for them by the way uh, it's not called the Merlot grape, <laughs> but you could Google it, and then that way you could color it based on that style. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then you have like your little vineyard here. And then we have a watermelon and feta salad. I actually tried that uh, a couple years ago. I had never done it before, and it was surprisingly good. It's something you're like, that doesn't sound right, but it is. It's okay. I promise. Welcome to the garden. This one is super cute. A lot of intricate work. Just keep your pencil sharp. That's all I say. Let's see if I can flatten this down a little more for you guys. There we go. Tight spine, but it's brand new. So it has a little saying here, but author is unknown. And then this one with the birdhouses and all those flowers would be really cute. Then we have like all our little peaches and different types. Let's see, and then 
Is that a peach too? I didn't think Crimson Lady was a peach. No, well, they're all peaches, I guess. But then it has a peach crisp recipe, which I'm going to be all over. And it tells me I can serve it with ice cream. So it says right there I have to do it. So it's going to be done. This one's cute too with all the gardening gloves. Then we have our carrots. Yes, there are more than one type of carrot. So you could like look again, look all these up and do them for realism or just color them how you want. But then it has carrot raisin salad. I am very intrigued by that. Only thing is I don't eat mayonnaise, I know gasp. A lot of people love it, but I can't do mayonnaise, but I have a substitute for that, so we're good. Because otherwise, it looks pretty cool. I've never even tried that before. And then we have another one. I want a garden like this where you walk through and it's just everything surrounds you. This page, I actually can't wait to color. It just looks so fun with the flowers and then your little bowls of fruit. And again, I can tear them all out so I'm not battling with the spine here. It's a big book, so it's good that they let you tear out the pages. <clears throat> so this one here, How Does Your Garden Grow? And this is just another one little saying with the fruits. And these are like, have the patterns on them so you can color them all funky and have fun. And then here we have a mushroom frittata. I love frittatas. And look at all these different little mushrooms. They don't give you the names on these ones, though. So you'll have to kind of... That's not a mushroom. Um, get creative. But, like, that's an onion, bell pepper. These look like... Well, these could be garlics, actually. And then these look to me just like regular button mushrooms. But you could look those up and color them for realism or not. It's up to you. And then this is cool because of how they show you the, sh the different types of, like, trees, like candelabra. I thought that was kind of interesting. Then you have like a little garden. Um, oh my, I can't think of the word. Those sun tables that tell you what time it is. A little greenhouse. That looks fun too. This one, like with the patterns. And this is cool. So like different things that you know you could put in a glass so you were tangerine lemon lemon orange and grapefruit you could do them in slices or you can actually make a juice out of them but either way this would be like fun to do in the summer just be very bright and citrusy and then this is kind of like what i said there's some you know like very patterned pages so you could do whatever you want with them and there's tons of sayings throughout. <clears throat> so we have, again, the seed pouches that are all vintage. So that would be kind of fun to do. And then this is cool. Like, look at their teapots, but they're made out of vegetables and fruits. Like, look at this teapot made out of corn or asparagus. I think that's an artichoke. Pineapple. It's one of the berries. <laughs> it's hard to tell at that angle, but like radishes. So that was pretty cool and creative. And then pears of pears, and then it just kind of goes over the different types of pears. And again, you could look them up and color them for realism, or just color them green and yellow. It's totally up to you. And that's a cute little picture. And some of these are, um, you know, like religious, but like some people I know don't like that in their books. I personally don't care. I enjoy quotes from wherever they come. So this one has a little beehive that would be really fun to color. And then this says flowers, bees, love. This is kind of important in a way, um, not just because it's in this book, but anyone who has a garden should really consider looking up the flowers that help honeybees and planting them because that actually helps honeybee populations. So just an FYI. But it kind of goes over them, you know. So we have mint, um, larkspur, all different kinds here, oregano, 
clover, lavender. I know they love lavender. We had a lavender plant on oh my, they were all over. <laughs> but then we have plums. Check out all the plums. And you can look them up and color them if you want in the different ways because you would be surprised at how a plum is not always just a big round purple thing. They do have different, you know, varieties. And then per persimmons. And the bird, that's pretty. But these are the different kinds too. We got another saying and patterned page. And then I love this with all your little oven mitts and stuff. Homemade pies. Yes, please. And all these aprons. These would be fun to color. This one's kind of cool because it's like a big bowl of salad. I mean, the bowl is really busy, but like I said, you could do like the traditional chinaware so it could be like the white and blue and then you know you have your salad here with like wooden spoons that's how I'm gonna do it by the way and then you got your artichokes okie dokie artichokey I thought that was pretty funny <laughs> um and then grow your own and there's just more vegetables but you can again look all these up and practice realism that's green onions scallions, chives, people always try to put them all together, but it's a green onion. Uh, asparagus, you know, that could be a carrot, but it could also be a parsnip, so it depends. Um, leeks, radish, so yeah, you could like look all these things up, and then we got like this bunch of asparagus. I love asparagus. I like to eat the tops. Mm-hmm. Especially if they like get a little charred on the grill. And no, I don't like just burnt food or something. <laughs> just like the char. And then we have the seed packets again with, you know, this cute little spread of veggies and fruits. And then the last page is a little thing about the artist. She's actually in California, which, you know, is where tons of crops are. But it talks about, you know, her background and art and everything about that. And then... The last page is a color palette test page, so that's pretty cool. You can practice your colors. And then here, uh, this page we actually just saw like two pages ago, but it's colored in. So yeah, this is a big book full of tons to do. Like you have pattern pages, you have little mini mandala type pages, but all with fruits and vegetables. You have a bunch of vintage ones, and then you have so many that you can practice your realism, you know, your shadow work. So I can't wait to dive into this book. I honestly, I didn't even know this thing was out there until I was told about it. So it's a great book. Like it's quality paper and perforated edges so you can pull them out, which I love because I know it's hard. It's hit or miss on Amazon when things could be create space. So this is actually a well done book in both the art and the printing quality but i just want to say an extra thank you to stephanie again for sending this to me if you guys have this book let me know if you like it you know your thoughts and if there's a page in here from this flip through that you would like to see me do a color along in or color along for i can definitely get that set up but thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take care.